Hi everyone, I'm Chidera, a pre-assessment child endoscopy. Today we'll be talking about a literally important topic, which is fiber and your colon health. With the increase of colorectal cancer, especially among young people uh, today, it is very pertinent that we'll bring this topic to the front burner. As we all know, bowel cancer has got no single cause however there are several factors that could predispose you or to simplify it that could make you have bowel cancer and um, one of those factors one of those modifiable factors if i am um, if i am meant to adjust this is your diet and with regards to your diet we need to talk about you taking a high dose of fiber in your diet so um, according to American Society for Gastroenterology, um, most adults who are uh, um, less than 50 years today are coming down with bowel cancer. And one of the factors that can be adjusted or modified to help you not to have bowel cancer is your diet. And that is why we want to focus on having a high fiber diet um, in your day to day food. So if you're new to this channel or you just bumped into this channel, please do not forget to like, share or subscribe to this channel as it will um, be an opportunity for you to have more knowledge on how to manage your bowel. So let's get started. What is fiber? What is fiber? So fiber is a plant-based food or to put it in another way, fiber is a food that is derived from plants. So when you eat the fiber, it, it's not, it is not digested by the body. However, it is very good for the body. So I want you to imagine something. Imagine a sponge, you use baiting sponge, which you use to wash your utensils or your body. That is what fiber is to your, to your bowel, to your colon. So there are types of fiber, the soluble fiber and the insoluble fiber. The soluble fiber are the fiber that when they dissolve in your body, they tend to reduce the cholesterol level of, uh, of, your, of, your, of your body and also help to protect your bowel lining. They do also reduce or control your blood sugar level. Whereas the insoluble fiber are fiber that when you eat, they don't, they don't dissolve in your body. They rather help to increase or to bulk up your bowel and help to in the movement of your bowel. So as someone who has worked in endoscopy units for a long time and with more experience in pre-assessment, I must tell you that what you take into your system goes a long way to this decide what will become of your bowel in the long or in the short run. That is why a study that was published in Lancet um, suggests that 16 to 24% of um, bowel cancer risk could be reduced if you do increase your fiber. So here is what fiber does to your body. That apple you, you, you take in, that uh, mango you take in, that chickpea you eat, this is what it does to your body. It helps to reduce the inflammation in your bowel. It helps to reduce constipation. Yes, it does help to re reduce constipation because with fiber, it tends to bulk up your bowel and helps in the bowel movements, thereby reducing you from having constipation, which could also cause hemorrhoids. Um, having a high fiber intake, it, it goes a long way to feed the good bacteria in your bowel. Everybody has got a good bacteria in their bowel, which helps to protect the line of your bowel. However, if these bacteria are not properly fed, they derive their food from the fiber which you give them. If they are not properly fed, they could be overwhelmed with um, the, the, the protection of your bowel, hence causing you to come down with several bowel conditions of which bowel cancer is one of them. Also, having a high level of fiber in your diet also prevents your bowel from developing polyps. Did you get that? Polyps. Polyps we've been discussed polyps in our previous topics in our previous discussion so if you may want to go back to a previous discussion to look at polyps yes taking a high level of fiber 
would help to prevent your bowel from development of polyps. So also the American um, Society for Gastroenterology has um, stated that most adults in the society today do not take sufficient amount of fiber in their diet. Yes, it is recommended that you take about um, uh, between 25 and 30 grams of fiber in your diet every day. However, most people, 84% or, or, or more of people fall short of that and they take about 15 grams. A lot of people today have constipation um, ongoing, which shouldn't be. So you need to look at that. Now, what if you are not um, so good at taking fiber? Yes, there are people who are not good at taking fiber. You can start small. And in addition to starting small, you could also look at uh, taking a high fluid intake. It is recommended that you take about six to eight glasses of water every day, in addition to the fiber. And moreover, fiber works properly in the presence of sufficient fluid. So when you take a lot of fluid and have a lot of fiber, your bowel comes into harmony. Wouldn't you like that? I know you like that. Now, let's talk about how to source your fiber. Do they fall from the sky? I don't think so. Fibers are food that we see to or in environments from day to day. And like I said before, they are plant-based meals or plant-based food, which we see in the environment from time to time. They range from your vegetables, your spinach, your green vegetables, your cabbage, your, 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 your cucumbers. They are examples of your high fiber diet. We have fruits like apple, mangoes, spinach, um, grapes with their skins. Don't try to peel off their skin. The fiber is more embedded in their skin. We've got whole grains such as brown rice, oats, these are some of the fibers that um, sources of fiber that would help um, protect or prevent your bowel from coming down with different kinds of bowel conditions. Also nuts such as ground nuts, cashew nuts uh, are such a good um, source of fiber for your bowel. The, the British Society for Gastroenterology have developed a guideline for patients who come down with some, of, um, some bowel conditions such as diverticular disease or constipation for them to go on a high fiber diet to protect the lining or yeah, the, 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 the entirety of their, of their bowel. So you could also um, toe that line. Now, here is the big picture. Here is the big picture. All we've said today is not all about just for digestion, high fiber digestion, no. This is for you to have a reduced risk. It is for us to have a reduced risk of developing bowel cancers and any other bowel conditions that are out there, such as constipation, diarrhea, diverticular disease, IBD, and polyps, and bowel cancer. And as someone who has worked in this sector for a long time as the the, the bowel um, units for a long time i can tell you for sure that what you eat go a long way to decide what your bowel um how healthy your bowel is and that is why um having the high fiber intake would and um, prior to your colonoscopy or before your colonoscopy that is for you if you are preparing to go for a colonoscopy or if you've already gone for a colonoscopy having a high fiber intake would help to reduce the amount of polyps in your bowel it will go a long way to um, decide how clean or how properly prepped your bowel is and also enhance the overall function of your bowel so I hope today's topic has gone a long way to enlighten you on the importance of fiber with your bowel health. I, I hope to see you in my next sessions. I don't want to be talking to myself alone. I want to get you involved. So if you have any questions about preparation for colonoscopy, sedation, bowel preps, bowel cancers, blood values or anything, please do not forget to drop them in the comment section as I will be well privileged to answer all your questions until i see you in my next topic please 
do not forget to like subscribe and share this channel as i look forward to seeing you in my next topic